2024 kitchen design trends. Hi, my name's Meg and I am a serial DIYer and renovator and we've just finished renovating our 1940s detached bungalow and of course we've just renovated our kitchen. So something that I was very active in looking for was trends that have longevity for my kitchen so that I wasn't making any mistakes and picking something that might be dated in just a couple of years time. So let's dive straight into those trends. Okay, so something that I was seeing so much when trying to shop for my kitchen was the use of natural stones or quartz marble worktops. It seemed that everything I was seeing coming through on Instagram, Pinterest, speaking to kitchen designers was that the bolder the better was coming in at the moment. It was kind of like the, the, the plain white quartz was no longer something that was capturing massive interest in homeowners and shoppers and designers. Of course, this is the most stunning trend and I absolutely, absolutely love marble countertops. I feel like it's something that is just never ever gonna date. You do see sometimes uh, some worktops that are like laminated or vinyl and they're in a certain type of marble. They tend to date faster than the natural stone. I feel like granite worktops from like the 90s, you might be seeing them now kind of going out of date, but the marble ones are not. They are absolutely stunning or anything that's inspired by marble. And I'm not just saying all of this stuff. I did practice what I preach and we have gone for a, it's called a Calcutta Grand Imperial Gold Quartz Worktop. So it's got big veins running through it. It's got a warmer color to the background of it. So a lot of quartz are white. Ours is kind of like an off-whitey, creamy gray. And we've got these massive veins running through our worktops. I feel like no matter what, these are gonna look stunning in 10, 20 years time because it is drawing on those natural elements of marble veinings. So if you're feeling brave, I mean, go for it and get marble. But for us, marble wasn't an option because we are not the... <laughs> most careful people in the world and marble is very porous so you can't use you can't stick coffee on there you can't stick turmeric or curry sauce or anything like that so that's why we opted for quartz which is a man-made material out of it's made out of stone and resin so it's so durable you can drop whatever you want on it and it seems to not absorb anything. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I've got a lot of more videos helping you pick your interior design and to show you DIYs in the future. Okay, so kitchen trends number two, we are talking about cabinets. So the white cabinet isn't going anywhere, but it is having just a little bit of a facelift. So again, this is something that I've practiced and we have gone for an off-white color for our cabinets. I feel like it's so timeless. It doesn't matter, you know, what area your kitchen's from. If it's white, it's going to look okay. But what we are seeing with the white cabinets is a slight warmth or lift to the color white. It's not just pure brilliant white type colors that we're seeing. It, they are off-whites and this just gives like a little hug to the kitchen and I think, like I said, it is timeless and doesn't matter really what, what design your kitchen it is, if it's handleless, shaker, glossy white, any of these, you know, you might say that the glossy white isn't something that you'd pick anymore, but because it's white, it still looks good and it can still be paired with anything and still look really modern and clean. Another colour that I am seeing massively in all the trends that I'm looking now, all the people that I'm speaking to, is green kitchens. Now this can be any colour green, it's just another play on nature and having green as like a neutral. So we've got black, we've got beige, we've got white, and people are incorporating green into their homes as if it is a neutral. And I think it is stunning. I definitely don't have the minerals to go and put a green kitchen in my home, but if you decide to go for a kitchen that's a painted cabinet, 
and you have green cabinets, then this is an amazing way to be able to mix up and change what colour your kitchen is throughout the years and the longevity of your home. So if you go for a painted green cabinet, then I definitely think that is an amazing way to be bold, be brave, but also give you the option, option to change it up in a few years time or 10 years time, if you so wish. But I've got a feeling the green cabinets, they're not going anywhere. It's not like the glossy red cabinets from the early 2000s. They, were, they will always be in trend, they will always be fashionable because I think we're starting to see that green is a neutral colour. And then talking of neutral, talking of natural, I think another cabinet colour, if I can call it a colour, or material that I am seeing coming through so much in the trends, so much when I'm talking to kitchen designers and looking on Instagram and Pinterest, it's the use of wooden cabinets. Now we have been seeing this all throughout history, wood being used in a cabinet, but it has just been updated slightly, so it's no longer glossed in an orange varnish, it's, you know, um, the cabinets, the shape of the cabinets, the shaker style of the cabinets are very modern, they're very clean lines and the wood itself is just absolutely stunning and I'm seeing it paired with different colours as well so someone might have the island wood cabinets and then the, the rest of the kitchen in a different colour but it's absolutely I think timeless having this wood in your kitchen. Again, it's a colour that you can paint over if you so wish, but I feel like, yeah, and then you could always change it from the colour back to wood in the future because it is such a good, durable material that you can chop and change however you like. Okay, so one of the other kitchen trends I'm seeing, which I really, really, really wanna, wanna create in our utility room, and I might do so in a separate video, but is a coffee or drinking station. I feel like these are gaining a lot of popularity. I feel like sometimes a coffee station can look really messy, or not a coffee station, sorry, but sometimes I feel like a coffee area in a kitchen can look quite messy. It can get messy with coffee machines and things like that. So I feel like people are creating a designated space for this drinks area where you can make the coffee and it just looks aesthetically messy because it's meant for that purpose. And yeah, easy to clean, easy to keep away from the rest of the kitchen. And, and they look really good. And I really, really wish that we had the, the space or the, or the capability to add a coffee or drink station. And I definitely want to get one, uh, kind of DIY one into our utility room in the future, because I think these are growing in popularity and a lot of people are putting them in their pantry areas, which brings me on to my next point. We are seeing a lot of hidden utility rooms or pantries being installed into kitchens, we were very intentional when designing our kitchen that we were going to create a separate utility room and make sure that we have the hidden doors to hide it off so that when you come and visit, you have no idea that it's there and we can just dump all the laundry in there, we can dump the coffee machine in there for now and really hide everything in that hidden pantry utility space. Okay, so here behind me, what looks like normal cupboards is actually a hidden utility room. Which, yeah, I think this is massively growing in popularity, especially in family homes, where you kind of need that separate space to hide stuff, just to get it out of, out of sight, out of mind. But yeah, and I'm seeing this a lot on Instagram and a lot on all the interior designers that I watch on YouTube. Another kitchen trend that's growing in popularity, I might have even said this in my kitchen trends video last year, but that is open shelving. I'm seeing a lot, lots of people are taking off their upper cabinets and replacing this with an open shelf. It just means that when you're stood at the sink area, you haven't got like a shelf directly above you. It makes you feel a little bit more spacious. It makes the walls feel bigger. It just makes everything feel a lot better and kind of like less cramped. And a lot of people don't really like open shelving. I wasn't going, I, I didn't think I was going to be somebody who liked open shelving because I like minimalism and I like to hide clutter but I think if you put a bit of design into your shelf and make sure you curate the items and put them up there purposefully rather than just cramming everything on your open shelf then it can look really effective. Okay and this one isn't really a trend per se however we are seeing lighting in kitchen being more thought out rather than just 
having spotlights and having one pendant. We are thinking about wall lights. We incorporated two wall lights above our kitchen shelf, which is absolutely transformational in the evenings. We've got this gorgeous low orange light coming in uh, from that side of the room so that if we're watching telly in the open plan living space, we want to go over into the kitchen space. It's just a very subtle light and it just creates this ambiance of just just cosy homeliness and I think kitchen lighting has been overlooked it's always been bright and that's the only option it's kind of just like lots of spotlights and that's it but now we're thinking about having lighting over the island having different sort of mood lighting in the kitchen because the kitchen is no longer a space where people are just shoved in to cook it is very sociable it is very much the heart of the home and i think that having the best lighting in the kitchen is a really smart move so another thing that we did we did go for the bright <laughs> spotlights but our spotlights are interchangeable from warm lighting to cool lighting and one in the middle that has a little bit of both. So that is something to think about if you are having spotlights is perhaps you want to change the spotlights from a cool light to a warm light and having that option is just amazing. And something that we also added to our spotlights to just give us more choice is dimmable spotlights. So if we have, for having dinner, we might want to put the lights on but dim them so that it's not too bright. And when we're cooking, we might want all the lights on or if we're you know, wrapping presents or anything like that, then you might want all of the lights on. But yeah, it's just really nice to have the fact that you can change the color of the spotlights and you can have them dimmable as well, which just creates um, the option to make a mood and just, yeah, really develop to whatever you're doing and you can develop your lighting to whatever you are up to and having those wall sconces really makes the difference for the ambiance in the night. And yeah, I would 100% recommend adding additional lighting to your kitchen designs this year. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stick around because I've got plenty more videos helping you curate the home of your dreams with DIY and ideas and lots more things like that. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.